What up, YouTube? Xavier Professor X back with another novel review. And this one's to that John Sanford, that Naked Prey. And I'm giving this one the yellow light because it's, eh. Honestly, it's another one of those entries in the Prey series from, let's say, Night Prey, Secret Prey, and Easy Prey that he's been doing a whole bunch of that I feel as though he's never been really comfortable with writing, you dig? It's a lot like taking Brad Marchand, the left winger of the Boston Bruins, who's phenomenal in his own right as a winger, and trying to take him out of that position and make him do clean-up goaltending. Yes, he's a world-class athlete that can do quite much, but yet you're playing him out of position, and he's not going to be as successful in that that position as he would straight up winging you dig to add on top of it he's still doing he's still on that super overkill thing that he's been doing a whole bunch of because Sanford is trying to prove to everybody including his fan base that he's still got it that he's still going to do things on way more of a complex level than it needs to be <clears throat> This book, the opening murder scene, I enjoyed it. I mean, it's rather interesting as you break it down, but it's not necessary for the twist that in details that lead up to the rest of the storyline, you dig? Because this is the equivalency as saying, okay, I'm going to drown this ant. In this whole entire pool that I've got right here. Like, you really don't have to do that, dude. You could have just stomped it out and did something basic. This book should have been a basic poke at some of the racial issues that we're dealing with in society, in society today. This should have been Sanford's formula with what he's been poking at with his own mystery crime genre signature. Because Sanford wants to deliver that same caliber of mystery that he once did when he was one of the biggest acts in the game, you dig? When he was writing his books on the same caliber that no one could deny you dig because really he's struggling at this current stage in the series to write great mysteries as he writes a novel though he thinks it's great in the studio and all but when he takes it in the car and all he rips it apart like this joint is complete trash now honestly now, honestly, the thing that I think that Sanford is doing wrong the most here is that he's trying to please fans and all of that, man, by trying to feed them with what he feels as though they want. But here's just the reality of it. The secret of all the individuals who read mystery crime genre books, they don't know what good crime fiction literature is until you give it to them. That's like asking a boxer. What type of promotion should they have leading to their boxing fight? They don't know. All they know is how to get into the ring and knock someone out. In essence, mystery crime fans don't know of the fundamental elements that comprise of a good mystery read, but they know a good mystery read when they read one. So ultimately, all you can do as an author is provide your best effort in your writing and let your fans take it from there. But the most interesting aspect of it is him coming to grips, coming to the understanding that he has fallen off. And this is something that none of his fans in his fan base will ever come to agree upon on social media and whatnot. Because here's the... Because people are not buying his books like they used to. They're not getting 
the necessary promotion that he needs to be successful in the game, these are all key, key symptoms of what? He has fallen off. And truth be told, there's nothing wrong with that. This game is a young man's game. They always say that, but it's true. You have to stay hungry as if you never had anything in your entire life to go ahead and drop classic novels and classic projects to worry about what everybody else is doing. If you don't have that type of hunger, which is taken away once you start getting the thousands of dollars in book sales and whatnot. Once you start getting the success, fame, and notoriety that you've been craving for, your hunger will go away. And John Sanford is currently at his wit's end as to how proud he is as a writer, as opposed to how complex he is with his descriptions, as opposed to the raw passion of it. But what is the purpose of this entire writing game, you dig? It is to come up to get this money, to provide for your families and all that. And then you take that and build off of that and then go and more, go more into the business end of it. You really can't as, as an, you really as an author can't stay on the front lines forever. Like there's no hockey player that will remain a hockey player forever. Like Alexander Ovechkin is going on his 40s and all that, still doing his thing, you dig, but Eventually, he's going to have to retire or become a coach if he still wants to stay in this NHL thing, you dig? Because, case in point, there's a time limit to everything. And John Sanford has done his thing. So, a quick recap here. The positives is that are that the opening scene in Murders m m provoke some intrigue and interest to the reader and don't make it as bad as it necessarily seems. But yet the negatives are that of Naked Prey is that it's not really strong enough to compete with the best Prey novels in the series. And that along with that, some of the main characters that were in the Prey series, the beginning part of the Prey series, aren't present in this one. So, that's all I have for you today. That's my review of Naked Prey by John Sanford. What are your thoughts of the book? Did you like it, love it, hate it? Let me know down in the comment section below and we'll have a discussion for it. I'm Savior Professor X, wishing you all a very safe and pleasant evening. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Be safe, and I'll see you in the next book review. Next book review is going to be on Hostage by Robert Crace, along with his other th three standalones. So take care, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next book review. Bye-bye. Class dismissed.